Now we're going to take a look at a very basic half guard pass, the tripod pass. This utilizes good base, your bottom is going to be very high, and I'm going to show you one little trick that's going to get you so much success that people don't do. Alright, I'm in Allen's half guard, and I need to start to enter for that tripod pass. So, initially, I'm going to make good space so that I can make sure he doesn't come up into me, I don't want any of that. We're going to go shoulder and hip, when we're training with our friends, in competition, we're going to go hip face, so that he can't turn towards me, okay? Shoulder friend, face competition. So, I'm making good space, and now this hand that's on the hip is just gonna slide right underneath and go for that underhook. If he starts to fish for the underhook with me here, I can keep good posture here, and I can just do a wrist roll and get underneath. Now, here is the problem. A lot of people get this underhook, and then they play really nice. I want my head to be in this space right over here, but as you can notice, Alan's head is in the way. How do we solve that problem? Well, with our friends, we cut the corner. In competition, we're going to take the top of my head and I'm going to drive it right by his face. Okay? I'm not telling you to headbutt him in the head. That is not what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is lead with the top of your head and let him get out of the way. Don't do it quickly. Don't strike him. But you need to get over there. Okay? For instructional purposes, I'm going to do it the way that it's supposed to be done and Alan might still be smiling at the end of class, I'm not sure, okay? So I'm controlling, I'm coming in here, and I drop that head. You see how he immediately turned his head out of the way? He may have had this happen to him, it may have been done to him once or twice in the past, all right? So I bring that head in. Now that I've started to shoot my head behind here, a lot of people will just put their head on the floor to base, and that may work for you. But they're gonna get squirmy, and a lot of times you're gonna get caught with your hips up in the air, and they're gonna keep trying to bring this leg back underneath. So how do we do it? Where do we stop that? We turn his head, we manipulate his neck. So, I come in here, I'm shooting that head to the floor, and now if you notice, my head is past his, and I'm gonna cup his head and his neck with the back of my head and my shoulder, and then I'm gonna turn his whole body by looking away. So I'm here, I underhook, my head comes by, he moves his head, and now look at how I turn his whole body, and now I walk my hips up. Once I walk my hips up, I'm squeezing with my legs. I want him to have as little hip movement as possible. From here, I'll give him a little bit more head, okay? Walk my bottom as high as I can, and then I'm gonna cut. If he continues to hold here, don't come back here and fiddle with this. Don't bounce, I want you to take your head and move it away and makes them really want to let go. Most of the time, they will. Did you want to hold on? Okay, you have to emphasize that pressure with the head pushing away. It is important for your head to be on the floor and underneath their head. If you let them equal, they're gonna be able to move their head and, and kill that pressure. Control, shoulder, hip, I underhook. Boom, my head goes down, he moved right out of the way. Thanks, Alan. Head to the floor, and I start to turn his whole body. I don't worry about this, squeeze. Now I'm going to walk up and over, turning his head with the back of my head. There you go. All of those little tricks that you've done previously, elevating your butt, putting your foot, the, the back of your foot on the top of the knee, bouncing, all of those things still apply. I want you to do those things, but I want you to realize the power of using your head to turn his body away. It will make people not want to pull half guard on you. 